So just because you are in hardship doesn't mean that hardship is going to kill you. If you take that hardship and begin to fight with the Lord's strength, you can now say, I can do, I can do. But was it possible the first day? Are you understanding? Yes. Hey, where's the my sister? She said she picks up 20 kg. Where is she? Come here, Lily. Is it Lily? Yes, yes. She picks up 20 kg. Now, now somebody will say, 20 kg? Even I do it. But let me tell you, what is the reason why I said 20 kg? Because for her condition, that 20 kg is worse than 200 kg. That, 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 there are certain things that have happened in certain people's body that they can't pick up one. And when they pick up 20, it's like, oh my God, how, how can she do that with the condition of her body? Isn't she looking slim and beautiful? But can anybody see her bones? No. We see the flesh, but inside the spare parts might have got damaged somewhere. Are you, are you following? So, good morning. Can I ask you some questions? Tell us what had happened to you first. I had last year this time, my five disc bludged. bludged. What is bludged? It's damaged. Okay. Yes, because I'm not allowed to carry not even one kilo. That's why the doctor said. But I did not I had a blood in my backbone. What, my, does, what does that mean? My disc. Um, squashed, yeah. Five dish. This this squashed. Squashed. Indian language squashed. Damaged. Crushed. 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 Okay, crushed. Hmm. Then, then the doctor said you're not allowed to carry not even one kilo. Okay, then. Uh, when you were walking because of the crush disc, there was no pain? Oh, horrible pain. Like, same like uh, labor pain. I don't know what's a labor pain. understand. <laughs> even I am the Oh, I couldn't, not even put one stand, one step. It's horrible, horrible pain. And that is only when labor comes. <laughs> No. You have it as well? Okay, okay. So, so that was continuous? Continuously. Yes. Even when you are sleeping? Yes, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep. So, so you are taking painkillers? Painkillers. Heavy, heavy painkillers. But still, I couldn't sleep. That day they took an MRI scan. They told the five disc was damaged. How did they get damaged? Because I am lifting heavy lifting weights. So you are doing wrestling? <laughs> you know, I'm doing a... Uh, no, you are okay. I'm doing a warehouse office. Oh, okay, okay, that's uh, on your job. No, I thought you were carrying weights. Okay, okay. Uh, but it misinterpretation. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, then what happened? Then uh, I had a pain, then I went to the doctor, then I, uh, they, they said, you're not allowed to carry not even one kilo, then I pay my then don't. Okay, 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 one more, one, one, one more. How were you walking in those days with that pain? No, no, just, just demonstrate, please, please. I sit in the structure and walked. Uh, sorry? You are, you are the crutches. 
You'll have to put on them, step on them. The, the left leg. So you are using crutches. For how long? Mm, so maybe 10 days. Then he came to my house. I came to your house? Yeah. Okay, don't call me to your house. <laughs> okay, then. He came to my house, Johnson brother. Then he prayed over me. Uh, did I pray over you or did you first listen to the word of God? I don't know why people don't speak about the word of God. You first listen to the word of God and the word of God changes your thinking. Okay. After the John, John 11, no sorry, Mark 11, 23. Okay. He told me that one. I, but he prayed over me but still I had a pain. Did you hear that? Yes. I, I, I prayed over her, but still she had pain. But I, 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 and I, take, I took the medication, but I thought, he, I'm already healed. Why I want to take that medication? I stopped my medication. My husband, I had a pain, but my husband told, take, did you take the medication? No. Why? Because I'm healed. I don't want to take the medication. But I had a pain. But I said, no. I'm I'm already healed. How many times did you say that? I'm already healed. I'm keep on telling. I'm already healed. So say that I stopped the medicine, but I took spiritual medicine throughout the day. There are many who will hear your testimony and say, I threw the medicine and I got healed. They will die. She replaced the medicine with spiritual medicine, saying again and again, according to the word of God, I am here, yeah. Here, but I walked like this. But everybody knew I'm not. I had a pain. But my husband said, "How are you? I'm fine. I'm I'm healed." So, so there was a battle. Others were saying, "You are saying you are healed, but you look sick. sick. You look unwell." But in her heart and mind, what did she believe? I'm healed. Yes, I'm healed. Then I prayed for other people who had a pain. Then I'm praying and I still keep on. Meditating on the word of God, I am healed in the name of Jesus. I am healed in the name of Jesus. C couple of days, the pain was disappear. After a couple of days, the pain disappeared. Disappear. Then I weep because one of my, my husband's nephew came from India. We have to plan to go to uh, Sydney because we are driving, we draw the car. My husband said, are you okay to go by car? I said, yes, yeah, I am healed. But I had a little bit, I had a pain. But we, I drove continuously four hours. <laughs> You're not allowed to sit more than one hour, one place. Not stand one hour. But I drove, thank God, but 11 hours we, we, I sit in the car, I sat in the car. Four hours I drove the car, I, amazing. Because five days we went, five days I walked every day, every day I walked, I walked, I, I that time I praising God loudly on the road, praise you Jesus, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, I pray. And what did the nephew say? This auntie is going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they believe too. They believe mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Yeah. And now what is happening? No, I have no pain. I'm the work I'm carrying. But uh, when I went to work, I was a little bit scary to carry. But the but doctor said, you're not allowed to carry. No, no but the doctor gave the certificate. The, the, my manager asked me the certificate. I'm allowed to ca carry up to five kilos, but mm, I'm fit to work. But the doctor said, no, I'm not giving to you. I give only one kilo. You're not allowed to lift anything. Then I gave it to my manager. He said, oh, you're not allowed to come to work. Then the doctor said, no, I, I, doc I said, doctor, doctor I, I, I'm fit. Then the doctor said, carry, no, 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 doctor. No, I'm not giving because look at the um, report. No, I'm not giving. The manager said, no, take the report. What can I do? I took uh, seven weeks at home, but I'm not doing nothing. I've had a... Uh, enjoying with the, the word of God and listening and praying. Seven weeks you enjoyed with Jesus at home. Yes. And what about the and what about the salary? Yeah, because I have uh, annually. No, sorry, medical um, sick leave. So you got money as well. Yes. So you spent with Jesus seven weeks. You got the salary as well, and you enjoyed every moment. Yes. 
And after seven weeks, what happened? Then I went, then the doctor said, I, I told them, my doctor, I'm fit, give me please. I told the story also. The, my doctor, okay, I'll give her only five kilos. Then I went to the dog, I went to the work, I'm carried. And uh, then I thought, I'm, I'm asking for help for someone. I'm asking for help. Can you give me a help to lift this one? So everybody's helped me. After that, I'm healed. Why I want to ask somebody? Then they, what they believe, what they will think. I told everyone, my, including my manager also, what happened, all the story I told them. They said, oh, I believe Lily, but I can't give you a job uh, yet. But I thought, okay, I told everybody Jesus healed me, um, but I am asking for everyone what they will think about me. They're not, then okay, I'm going to carry 20 kilos. Because Jesus, you told me I am healed. I'm going to carry 12, 20 kilos. Then I carried. I, every day I'm carrying, then some people are teasing me about Jesus. I don't care because they don't know. Then I'm still, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing, still I'm carrying. Give me 20 kilo, I'll carry. I'm only 20 kilo. I, 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 I remember, I, I don't know which place in Australia, this man at the age of 18 had damaged his back. Okay? And because of which he was in pain. So I told him to carry something there, 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 and the pain had gone. I said, why don't you carry me? And he did not even think for a moment. He just carried me as if he was carrying a feather. And he carried me 95 kg. Praise God. He carried me. And then I said to him, when you were carrying me, I felt like I was so light. He said, even I felt like a power came into me and I did not even know that you were 95. After I finished carrying and you said 95, it was still spinning in my head. How did I carry him 95? Would you like to carry me? <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Uh, oh, uh, uh, can, you, can you just make a prayer for anybody who is going through this, this problem? Close your eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Lord Jesus. I'd say. Lord Jesus, the same anointing that healed the sister Lily and restored her bones. As the person is watching right now, in the name of Jesus, I'm talking to you, my friend. The same anointing is flowing into your body, not only your disc, but every organ in your body is receiving life. Like Lily, she took the medicine day and night, repeating to herself over and over and over again. Actually, she overdosed the medicine in a system that that sickness was completely destroyed and the disc was completely recovered and restored, recreated. That same kind of anointing is flowing into your life, your loved one's life, not only in physical sickness, in the mind, in the brain, in every area of your life. In the name of Jesus, receive this creative miracle right now in Jesus' name and be healed. I declare in the name of Jesus, you are set free in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, Amen. And all God's people said, Amen. Praise God, thank you. Now, now, now do you understand 20 kgs? Hello? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, did she overdose with the medicine? When you overdose with the medicine, even in pain, you build a, a wall of praise. That's the first job that you do to build a wall of praise. 